Welcome to Grumpy Guy Gaming and it's finally time for a studio update. There's a lot to cover up. Cover, cover, cover up. Uh, today it's standard who my subscribers know what I talk about here, but I talk about my private part of my life and hobby-wise and some news, if there are any. Uh, this one will be a little bit longer because there's, like I said, a lot to cover. Plus, I was at Warhammer World, so we are going to talk a little bit about that. Um, let's start. Mm, privately, everything's okay. A little bit back problems. Wife has some uh, headache problems. We're going for a neurologist, so checking up that. Only the next, I think in September, we got the. She'll get the. Uh, how to say, uh, check up. Uh, co adoption wise, I'm still working on the room, was concentrating more on finishing some of my commissions to have money to pour into the room. Uh, what else? I uh, adoption wise, we finally started with the education part. It only took a year and a half. Uh, it's going okay, learning things I w wouldn't expect to learn. Uh, nothing to complain about. I have, we have six, six or five. I think almost a month, month and a half till we finish, which is cool. Then we can uh, apply. Then we get the certificate to that we can legally adopt, that we passed everything that I'm saying, which is, I don't know how I done that. And then we can, then they'll search the adequate uh, match for us, as the social workers told us, which is okay. I, I already planned for that and I didn't expect it to be fast at all. This is Croatia and it, everything goes slow. Uh, that's it when it comes for that uh, this week we went weekend we went to uk me and my wife adam invited us to go to warhammer world for the horus heresy weekender i was planning to go alone then my wife oh i want to go to uk okay let's go uh but flight did pay it a little bit more than it, i should it's not expensive to be honest it's i think one 50 per person but we went to her first flight first trip out of the country so first time in uk first time in warhammer world her not me so it was a nice experience so how the trip start uh, adam called me told me he managed to get tickets do you want to go well, i said well why not fuck I haven't been for some time out of the country just to get out of this environment here and to recharge my batteries so we said we bought the tickets uh, I saw me and my wife woke up about two in the morning on Friday dropped the cab throwing videos and pictures as I talk we got in the car in the morning uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this was cold when you don't, don't put a battery on. Got in car, got to arrived at the airport about six. We had the flight about five at the airport. About six we had the flight. Went to our had a lot of turbulence, my wife uh, got sick, was feeling ill during the flight, so it was a little bit like crew members were all, are you okay? Which is normal, she doesn't uh, react good to movement, especially if somebody's driving or a little bit aggressively. Uh, we landed at London about eight, uh, waited for the bus till 10, we took the bus because it was closer to Beckerman's Palace and everything. So when I calculated, it was either go by train 
and then walk uh, one hour, two hours there, or go by bus and be there immediately. So, not bad. Uh, went to Buckingham's Palace. Look, construction. So, <laughs> didn't see much. <laughs> it was all covered up with scaffolding and shit like that. Went to about a little bit of parks. Uh, then we went for to look at Big Ben and surprise scaffolding <laughs> <laughs> it's still we could see the Big Ben it was cool but still it looked like <laughs> everything was in the whole sick half that part of the city was in construction renovations or whatever probably preparing for the tourist season lucky us <laughs> we took pictures walked around had lunch somewhere, disgusting food, that's a perfect some healthy food, which is not good for me. Uh, went to the British Museum, there, fuck, it was awesome. Unfortunately, we had to move, go out of the town so Adam can pick us up, out of London, by train. So we had to, about five o'clock, we had to rush to the train station to take catch the train and go to Ebbsfleet station or something, international or something like that and uh, the museum the British British Museum is excellent definitely if anybody goes to London watch it we, we were for half an hour to half an hour we were there and we haven't seen much and it's really cool really nice D done then Adam picked us up we fell asleep <laughs> during the drive I was like there's a picture of me like uh, sleeping and smiling. I'll, if I get find the picture, I'll put it somewhere here, you, so you can laugh at me. <laughs> we got to Nottingham, uh, got some community center or something like that. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, got our rooms, and then we went to an Indian restaurant or Pakistani restaurant, but Indian food. Food was excellent. We had fun there. Uh, I talk shit as normal. Uh, then the next day, we went to Warhammer World. Uh, we got there about nine, nine-ish, something like that. Slowly walk. Okay, guys, we're at Warhammer World. Adam's here. David, <laughs> wife, and the Mecca is over there. So let's go in and get thrown out <laughs> <laughs> took pictures where we needed to take pictures like uh, cool poses and shit like that uh, waited in line then people started coming there was a huge line I think there was altogether 500 people in the, on that day only 500 tickets were sold there was like youtubers and everything over there which, bah, I, don't know. I came to see Warhammer World not people oh, but they were all cool uh, like cosplayers really nice done, nicely done the iron warriors imperial fists uh, inquisitors and dark elder really really nice i have some pictures I'll, if i find them i'll post them somewhere here uh, we entered there was like huge amount of people going to the cabinets where the horse heresy was previewed on the side there was like three tables where the youtuber influencers were there uh, there were some cabinets for painting competition but which I didn't know if I knew I would take some of my models uh, what else then Adam was walking around we split up me and my wife went to the exhibition hall went one round we took pictures of all i recorded so there will be a video of uh, the exhibition hall recording uh went over there looked around a bit more then went again over <laughs> the exhibition hall went to bagdan bar cool well, food was nice i ordered some chicken and my wife ordered some like a sandwich or something then we switched and yet she didn't like the sandwich i didn't care uh, I did order onion rings, which were disgusting, to be honest. Just... Uh, I didn't eat at all. I was sitting with a nice lady from uh, uh, France. 
had a little bit chatting, talking about miniatures, of course. Matt Elslanation, uh, told him I was stabbing, he was looking at me, what? And then he realized who I was, and oh, Grumpy! <laughs> did meet uh, Ash Barker, I think, from Guerrilla Miniature Games, which I actually wanted, was surprised I was there. And we had a little chat about him, talked about Horus Heresy, how he thinks about it. Uh, during all that all, they were giving away one miniature for painting. And I said, ah, I'll just do it next time, or later, when I get the time. Idiot me, I should have taken the model and then later maybe paint it. Because later when we came back, the mini there were no miniatures anymore, which is a shame. Uh, but you can't have everything. Uh, what else? 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 What else did we do? And that's it. Uh, we finished there. I did buy the commemor commemorative figures, the company champion and uh, uh, sh shaman of the Uruks and uh, bought Risk Warhammer 40k which is for playing around when you don't want to play something complicated. Uh, then we came back to the hotel where we are, we actually sit on the table, Adam, me and David and we played Risk 2 games and about 10 o'clock we went to bed because at 3 in the morning we had to go to the Stansted airport we had to fly to about 6 or 7 uh, wait, yeah something like that 8, 8ish but we had to go earlier uh, as we came back home picked up some shit from uh, our capital and drive home came back in the evening and that's it, I um, was fueled up after that, I'm full of my hobby spirit. <laughs> that's what, for the trip, fuck I've been talking too long. Uh, hobby wise, I've been working on uh, Imperial Fist for Adam, been printing uh, uh, some uh, terrain for uh, Desert Board, I have Titanicus terrain I need to finish, have some high elves I need to finish. I finished uh, the high elf. Oh no, not high elves. Blood Bowl team. I finished. I'm working on uh, some commandos, breaches, custom built. I have some uh, distraction grots, uh, some commissars. I did do finish the Necromunda Orlo gang and plus the additional one, not the expansion. The the flying crap and I'm working on some uh, mercenaries for Necromunda for myself uh, that's it for hobby wise I think did uh, design time I did start designing like a man manufactorum no not manufactorum uh, like industrial set for Adeptus Titanicus I did put pictures of here there there over there and there uh, some buildings, like workshops, uh, uh, containers, facility complexes, like with the silos and shit like that. Uh, if you are interested, you can join my Patreon. You can get all the files I ever designed for it. So, if you want, no, oh, yes. Uh, what else? News-wise. There's been a lot, so of course Heresy 2.0 was uh, announced, which I went there. So we have the new Kratos tank, which looks cool, a little bit bigger than Sikaran, Sikaran battle tank. They did announce uh, the Sikaran battle tank yesterday, plastic. We get Daimus, Daimus uh, Pat and Rhinos, plastic, uh, plus the crew is uh, MK2s. Armors, uh, armors. Uh, they did repackage the MK 4s and 3s, so they're not changing them. Uh, what else? They did announce the special weapon and heavy weapon boxes. So the special weapons you actually get all the special weapons and 10 of each, 
and for the heavy weapons you get two heavy weapons and ten of each so cool I think so to be honest you can buy a tactical box and practically buy this one and just combine it but it's like buying two boxes so now the question is how much the upgrade sprue will cost that's the main question now uh, the new starter set was announced which is cool uh, the new demon Chaos for 40k has been announced. We get uh, Chaos Space Marine Possessed, who actually are designed by uh, like uh, Gal Warbuck from 30k, which is cool. Really look nice. Then we have some like Covenant for cultists. We get standard cultists. We get demon cultists. Possessed cultists, actually. I think I'm forgetting something. I'm definitely forgetting something. Fuck if I know. New Chaos Knights, yes, we get the Amagers or Hounds, whatever they're called, and the big one. It's cool, there's also the box itself. What else? Age of Sigma, we, they announced. What did they announce? What did they announce? They did announce. Ah, uh, fuck, the Sylvanet, like, book and new models, it's like flying crap and other flying crap uh, I'll take pictures here here and there we also get the new kill team box that they announced it's a, a traitor guard who have a combination like the Blackstone Fortress chaplain with this ogre and some traitor guard which is nice so I don't know if there will be multi-part or just like snap fit I hope they're multi-part like the like Krieg but looking at them I think I don't know uh, but still they look cool then uh, they're fighting like Primaris they just get standard box of uh, infiltrators or whatever they're called and uh, probably an upgrade sprue and they get the new terrain like those bunkers and dish satellite dish and everything also there's a new Band for no, not band uh, for Warcry. They announced like 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 Centaur and the like the gang for like I don't know how, what's the, uh, I forgot the name. It's like some like bull bull gang bull gang. <laughs> it's cool. What did we did I forget anything else? <sighs> I think I forgot everything. I should put like big ass paper and stuff to listen uh, what's new Lex Bled uh, that's for GW Atomic Mass Games I think announced Black Swan for Marvel Classics Protocol Black Swan and uh, uh, I don't know what the fuck the other one's name I'll put pictures over there they also Heimdall and uh, what's the guy in Ragnarok the idiot one uh, who says this is my stuff uh, I'll also put pictures of them which, is, which looks cool uh, for Star Wars Legion we have the like the syndicate crap that's coming out like uh, Darth Maul uh, and a couple of units of like rebels no not rebels uh, Brain freeze, brain freeze. I'll put pictures. <laughs> I'll put pictures and I won't talk anymore. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. That caught my eye a little bit. Uh, for Kickstarters, the Lannister finished, which looks cool. I'll put pictures on it, but considering how much prices of postage are now. I probably won't do do Kickstarters anymore because in the end it's almost the double as my pledge, so it's just not worth it anymore. And that's it. I think that's it. I hope that's it. Now let's go to the table. I'll show you what I've done so far, and let's go. Star players, tokens, players, and also there's a booster for the from Forge World. We get uh, Bloodspawn, we get Scylla, we finished him, 
finish some orcs working on Constantin Valder as a commission uh, some uh, Necromunda gang uh, no mercenaries that I need to working for myself have some uh, ash weights assembled have some Warhammer exclusive models assembled shades bar new gangs or old ones uh, working on the Imperial Fist for Adam what else we have we have the Dawn Breeders for 30k blood angels we get some high elves that I need to finish probably tomorrow, today or tomorrow we have some Titanicus the desert terrain for Cor Corvus games that I'm working on this is just like 40% of it so probably more will be the Titanicus I need to finish for Ireland a lot of it and uh, test prints for the Titanicus mechanic uh, industrial set I'm working on I have some fortress I need to have some bard song that I need to unbox you can see there's here also a lot of stuff I have some here finished models for the orcs so if it's too fast I have some high elves I need to tidy up uh, also I have here some Iron Warriors, well, most of the Iron Warriors I'm working on, some kill teams, and that's it. Uh, I wasn't too busy, not too much finished stuff. What to say, leave a comment below, tell me what you think, subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber, hit the bell button if you want to get notifications when I upload a new video. And thank you for watching and stay grumpy.